KHL into weather, Kamaka Pili. You know, this was a beautiful week of weather outside. We had the return of our trade winds, and fortunately, that's what we're looking to stick around for this weekend. Green across our threat board, no advisories, no warnings or watches in place right now. It's a beautiful day. We had some shower activity towards the east end of the state due to some low level bounds of clouds moving through Maui County in particular, and we're actually going to continue to see that particular cloud be pushed down towards the south. So we're going to see an increase of shower activity, or at least a steady flow of shower activity for east end of Maui tonight and the windward slopes of Hawaii Island at least into the early mornings of tomorrow. Now in terms of our winds, fortunately the trade winds are here in our extended forecast. This strong high pressure system towards the northwest is fueling these trade winds and because of its direction it's a slightly behind the islands, we're having more of a northeasterly flow for the west end towards the central portions and more of an easterly flow for the east end, Hawaii Island in particular. But this source will move north of the islands which will shift more towards an easterly flow which may be a little bit more warmer than it is right now coming in from the east. But in terms of shower activity with that, most of the shower activity we're going to be seeing, at least the source of it is with these low-level clouds. Other than that, very stable across the island. So we're going to continue to see pockets of low-level clouds move in. Again, east end will continue to be seeing moisture and continue to remain wet throughout the evening into early morning tomorrow. We do have a band of moisture that will be coming down for the west end of the state. So we're going to see an increase of shower activity for Kauai in particular starting tomorrow. But other than that, nothing very significant a beautiful weekend leading up to Mother's Day on a beautiful note with trade winds and a lot of sunshine. Looking at tomorrow morning, we're waiting up on a damp note for Hawaii Island and the east end of Maui as we were expecting a lot of sunshine for Molokai here on Oahu and Kauai as well, but a slightly increase for the northern portion as again we're expecting that band to move down. Right now what we're seeing this evening though, a very quiet night for the west end towards the central portion. That band and moisture will continue to push down towards Maui and Hawaii Island, again, the windward slopes, leaving Kona side fairly dry, and the rest of the state having a beautiful night tonight into tomorrow. Our Hawaiian moon phase for tonight is known as Kulu. This is a good night to plant uwala, which are sweet potato and other types of melons. Our ocean conditions are looking nice. We have that swell coming in north, 8 to 12, 2 to 4 for the west, 3 to 5 down south, 1 to 3 for the east facing shores. And the days to come is looking very beautiful, at least for this weekend, but we are seeing changes starting Monday as an upper level disturbance slightly starts to destabilize around. Atmosphere. And then once that leaves by Tuesday into Wednesday, another disturbance looks to come in and keeping the instability. So hopefully we'll just have to plan and see a lot more sunshine than rain. Bridget, I'll toss it back to you.